What's up guys, AT here for Bulldog Gear. I'm here with WT today. Something that a lot of people don't know about us is that we are massive cinephiles, absolutely love films. Any opportunity to talk about films, specifically talking about training, uh, feats of strength, anything like that in films is a big plus for us. So today we're gonna to take a look at some famous training scenes, feats of strength, Stuff that's happened in films that we're not quite sure whether that's going to carry over into reality. Try it of ourselves and see how likely it was those things actually took place. First up, we're going to take a look at the Ben Affleck training scene in Zack Snyder's Batman vs Superman. In the Christopher Nolan trilogy, we'd already had a quick look at some of uh, Christian Bale's martial arts training. That's not for us to kind of debunk or take a look at. But here in BVS, we get a look at Batfleck, at Ben Affleck, actually throwing down, lifting some weights, hitting some tires, doing some generally kind of functional fitness based stuff. But there's something in this that really stands out for me. I'm gonna show this to you now and see, uh, see what you think of it. This is it, this is it, right? These pull-ups. So you see he's just doing neutral grip chins. Pretty good tempo, yeah. right? And like, Nice, you know, no kip or strict. They're weighted. Have a look at that. Did you see that? He drops the weights. And what is that? They're 20 kilo plates on it, they're 45 pound. I'm so 20 four kilo, plates. four cast iron plates. So he's doing those neutral grip chin ups with that pretty steady tempo, good reps, 80 kilos weighted. Now there is the possibility that Ben Affleck is just way, way stronger than either of us, or indeed both of us combined. But I'm not so sure. Should we see what an 80 kilo pull up feels like? I think we should. So, for her. so he's neutral grip, which I do think it makes it a little bit more, a little bit more forgiving. So neutral grip and his tempo is pretty much steady up, steady down. There was no kip, there was no nothing. So. I don't know, let's load it up. I'll work up to a heavy. Let's just see how close we can get to 80 let's kgs. Yeah. We saw a definite confirmed one, so let's, let's work with what's on screen. It's canon if it's on screen. Mm. Feels all right, doesn't it? 20, 25%. 25% of uh, Bruce Wayne's possible five rep max. <laughs> Let's chuck another 20 on. I mean, this is Batman we're talking about as well. Let's go up, 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 up. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't be a very good crime fighter. <laughs> the level of specific strength necessary to do that in line with also being like full-time Batman. Like, is this too specific? Like, would you be like, oh, I've got to fight crime, so I better be really, able to do a bot, like a... Really heavy pull-up. Like double body weight pull-up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this... This, the this already feels... Uh, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure Paula Lima, I've seen him do chins with 60 kgs. So it's like doable. I just don't know. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm tapped out at 60 kgs. Didn't happen. What do we think the likelihood? I'm gonna say on this one, 
What, but <laughs> he's probably just wedge, absolutely wedge. I don't think Ben Affleck could do neutral grip chin ups of eight kilos, but I would say in universe, in canon, in the context of that story, I think that's pretty realistic. I think it's doable, that's not impossible. Right, let's uh, check for bicep tears and uh, move on to the next one. Just out of curiosity, because we did mention it upstairs, I'd like to see if Batman is literally as strong as both of us. Like, could two of us do 80 kgs? Or is that beyond the rounds? So. Should we try it? I think so. <laughs> and I can't actually reach. <laughs> That felt harder. <laughs> Next up, another feat of strength that is so ubiquitous in films that it's literally got its own page on tvtropes.com is the cliffhanger. This, the, you, can, you can find this in a lot of films, but this straight up from the film Cliffhanger. This thing that you get of someone falling and someone having to literally hold them up by their hand. Now, really and truly, that's just a test of grip strength, I would say, but yeah. one arm hanging with the other arm holding, how easy is that to do? Well, we're gonna find out, that's the, that's the point of the video. It's not gonna be easy. I did say this in a Batman video, that obviously, like, full fairness, there is the chance that Ben Affleck or whoever it is doing this thing is literally just stronger than us. And in this case, in the case of the film Cliffhanger, we are talking about Sylvester Stallone. So there's a very real chance that he's actually stronger than us. This is, this is like St Stallone in his peak as well. Prime Stallone. Yeah. <laughs> Were you just slipping off the ring as well? Instantly, the minute I tried to pick my feet up. Well, I guess the other, the other thing to try would be, can I hold you up from standing? Like, could I, lift, could I hold you off the floor from being stood on this box? Yeah? yeah. Yep. <laughs> so maybe, like the old over the fence holding someone, I'd say that's a go on. I'd say that's like a definite thumbs up. I think I've been holding for a while there. I think maybe just Stallone might be stronger than this. Yeah. The one thing that I'm gonna like call foul play on is not actually doing it. It's how much it gets done in the films and yeah. how easily it's played off. And the fact that um, cut to Star Trek into darkness footage. Someone holds two people at once. Are you saying you don't think you could? You saying, I'm you saying I, some plates on my legs, you could trust I'm that. I'm saying man. I don't think Chris Pine could hold on to Anton Yeltsin's hand whilst holding on to Simon Pegg's hand while Anton Yeltsin, uh, Yeltsin pulls them both up. Maybe. Based on this current like small sample size granted experiment, I don't think that's possible. So overall, for the cliffhanger stunt, I think it's possible to hold someone up yeah. pretty easily, doable. I think it's far less likely that someone's going to be hanging whilst holding someone that's hanging from there and that from there they're going to get to okay. safety. That's a no from me. That's a big no. On to the next one. Okay, next up, number three, probably, arguably, the most sort of famous training montage of all time, I'd say. Rocky IV, Rocky versus Ivan Drago, in Russia, 
Rocky's doing the low tech. It's, I think it's what most people think of when they think of like a training montage. They're thinking about that. Yeah. Hearts on fire, old school Rocky versus new school, Drago. high tech Drago, questionable chemicals. There's all sorts going on. Uh, one bit, I mean, this whole, this whole montage is just absolutely priceless. Just you, this is, this is like audio and visual pre-workout. But the, the one thing that always, I'm, you know, I'm pretty, I'd say it's all pretty realistic. He's just chopping wood. Carrying an old school yoke. Yeah, he's got the yoke. He's doing some pad work. He's doing some calisthenics. It's all. Calling himself a little beard. It's all pretty realistic. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the Russia beard. He's gone rustic, he's gone native. It's this one for me. See, he's doing these tricep extensions. He's on a pulley with a bag full of rocks. Now, granted, we can't see the pulley system, so it might just be, you know, uh, the pulleys might work in such a way that it's making, Make it that it exceedingly light, but what do we reckon? In this bag of rocks... They're actually just two really big rocks. What do we reckon weight-wise in there? So he's literally grabbing it, he's coming over into like a, an over-the-head tricep extension. So he's doing like an isolation movement. I mean, I want to say them stones got to go at least 40 kilos each. Let's have a look. I mean, I think you see him hit the floor in a minute. Look at that. That's like yeah. rocks. That's... That's like multiple rocks. Yeah. Look at that. I mean... I'm thinking like at very least there is like a hundred kgs. hundred kgs. About hundred kgs for an isolation movement. He's just on a pulley with a massive old bag full of rocks. Just doing some over the head try. <laughs> He's just getting his pump on. But again, I do want to say this is this is peak stallone. This is peak this is peak peak stallone, but uh, that being said, Mr. let's give it a go. <laughs> so from here, he goes in. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 40 kgs. There's not many rocks. We said no to the kgs. We're at 40 kgs here. I will say, like, even with the conservative estimate, if those rocks weigh like 100 kgs, they were definitely more than 40 kgs. Ah, oh, so, triceps, strong enough. Body weight, not Body weight enough. against the forces of gravity, not strong enough. Do you think, if we went heavier, do you think we'd even be able to move that? Again, like conservatively, way less than the amount of rocks. Slow passion. That's good. Are Russian rocks light? That's not a common thing. Maybe The Russians have hollow no, no, no. rocks. <laughs> it's like the actual, the weight of it. Just, it's just going to pull me up for Slice Stallone to have got in the position to be able to do the tricep extension. He would have to weigh more than the, the rocks. So I'm going to say, I don't know what you think, based on what you actually see on screen, based on the fact there's a net and a pulley and one rope, not happening. No. I think it's possible. I think if it was like geared differently, or whatever, or they're hollow rocks. Possible. Based on what you can see on the screen, not happening. Sorry, Sly. Sorry, you are still my hero, but not happening. Last one. Last up. This is probably one of my favorite ones to sort of dissect. And full disclaimer, we're talking about Steve Rogers, Captain America. So he's the only confirmed guy on this list who is not on that Ebro. Like, it's not, it's canon, it's in universe, it's like, you know, he's not natural. He's, he's, not. he's literally got super soldier serum coursing through his veins. So, we're not trying to look at this from the point of view of, is it possible? 
we're trying to look at this from the point of view. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show you and I'll explain. You know what I'm talking about. Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, jumps in a helicopter, Cap pulls it back down first and foremost. Let's not get into the, 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 the physics of that. He pulls the helicopter back down. It's this bit. This bit for me is egregious. So he grabs hold. He's holding that helicopter, right? He's holding that helicopter in place. Fine. He's got, you know, he's got super, super, he's got superhuman he's been super strength, human. peak human abilities. It's this bit. So he's holding it, uh, pronated grip, over arm, hand over arm, hand over hand, palms down, sorry. And then he switches grip. Like mid holding it, he switches grip into a circulated grip and looks at his own bicep. Yeah. Now, obviously we can't like determine whether or not this is, well it's clearly not real, like Chris Evans is not holding back the peak talk of Hellcox, was it? What I want to know is, was there any benefit to that switch from like, oh here we are, to like, oh yeah. Was there any benefit to that, or was Chris Evans just flexing this? I think he's just flexing. I think he's just flexing, but we're going to find out. We're going to see the heaviest weight we can sort of pull in with a pronated grip in a similar kind of, a similar kind of position versus the heaviest weight we can pull in with this grip and see where we max out first. Was there any benefit to go into that underhand grip, flexing the bicep, peaking the bicep, or is he literally just flexing the bicep? Let's find out. So this is the real and very scientific experiment. The pulley here is going to be representative of the helicopter and the bar here representative of the side of the building. And again, we're not trying to debate whether or not he could hold a helicopter in place because, no. Is there any benefit to doing that switch grip? So I guess the fairest test we can do is see whether or not we can pull ourselves in, pull ourselves into that bar with some weight this way up and then also like super and switch grip. Go heavier and heavier, see what maxes out first. So literally from here, pulling myself on here. That's mostly just grabbing it. Yeah. Give it a party You're pretty much just doing the Michael Jackson lean. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just trying not to fall over. Yeah, it needs to be like, well, if we learned anything from our Rocky experiment, 60 kgs plus. So let's if anyone knows or if anyone can calculate like what the peak, um, would it be updraft? What would be the torque of the helicopter feeling away? Uplift. The peak lift in like Newtons of a helicopter pulling up. If anyone can like calculate that for us, drop it in the comments below. Be, yeah, we'll try it next time. So, there we go, it's away now. Pronated. Well, here's, just second, here's actually where I'm going to make a caveat. Pronated was stronger, but supinated looked stronger. It did look from the, stronger. You know, from the... <laughs> Going up. How did that feel? That felt wrong. We're back in the situation that we're in in the first video where you're literally trying to hold your own body weight up by one hand, that's pretty difficult. So from here, super no grip. Versus. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> way, way harder. Way, way harder. Let's just try it, hit it from that like seated position, isn't it? It's still way harder than that. Yes. 
straight away. Yeah. Straight away. So that, for me, that's a number. There's absolutely zero benefit to switching to that grip other than flexing the mm -hmm. super soldier bicep. So this one, that's a no for me. And that is that, if I've learned anything today, it's that bicep tears and strains must be absolutely rampant in Hollywood. Uh, there's a definite emphasis on the bicep in film, which tracks. And Russian rocks are hollow. Russian hollow. rocks might be hollow. Guys, if you like the video, comment, subscribe, hit all other buttons of that nature, and we'll see you on the next one.